<coughs> the good watch Archer, but I have recently discovered that and I now find it annoying. So how did how did um, how did the the alchemy help you that? What did they do? Uh, it was a brief conversation. I, uh, I told them we were just gonna relax, but um, they helped him during his deportation process to get himself sorted out. Dude, actually, I uh, went to every single organization. They knew people that prolonged his deportation <coughs> process, mm -hmm. so he didn't get deported as quickly. So he could, uh, you know, just get himself sorted out. I went to. He didn't have a lot of money too. I went to Caritas, Caritas in Stuttgart. I went to Caritas in Munich. I went to um, Caritas thanks, mm -hmm. in Düsseldorf. All said no. I went to AWO in Düsseldorf. No. Um, I've been to about 10 of those organizations. I even went to the church in Bonn. Mm -hmm. We're not helping you. So it's not like I didn't try. Yeah. Right? It's not like I didn't try, right? Mm -hmm. Those organizations pick and choose who they want to help. That's true, but... Dude, even I'm a first person... It baffles me out with an alien like you, like a friendly guy, right? Solid standalone guy like you. Do you know why? Could, Can I tell you exactly why? Could be treated that way. Can I tell you exactly why? Such misfortune. Man. It's not misfortune. It's, it's not purpose. I'm telling you, it comes from the money that I'm owed and politics. They don't want me to get to that court in Munich to get my money back, to get my life back. We live in, in 2019. When was your dad deported? How many years ago? Uh, it had to be 2002. The technology. We weren't as connected. It's so easy to cut somebody off right now. All it would take is SAP, right, who your dad also worked for, to make a phone call. These organizations like Caritas, it, they're a business. Mm. They're, they're not just there to help everybody, right? I specifically went and I said, my situation is horrendous. They actually, verb one of them actually said, well, you don't speak German, so no. And the other one was, um, yeah, we're just not helping you. And the other one just said, get out. They said, get out, you're not Syrian. Yeah, they said that? Yes, they did. Wow. The bend is just... So oh, it's wow. all bullshit. Look, even if I go in Canada, all these organizations that are set up as a, as a backbone to social society, everybody gets help. It's not true. It's yeah. completely not true. It's a complete lie. These are trying times for you. It's not, dude, What's it's not like I'm a stupid person. You can't deliver no. $6 billion of IT projects and I'm just standing there going, oh, God, help me. <laughs> I've gone out and fucking tried. So that's why I'm putting it on myself to do it because I'm the only one that's going to be able to do it. Yeah. I, every, every, I googled every single organization that is supposed to help me in Germany and everyone said no. The only possible con reason, conclusion, we live in 2019 now, right? Yeah. Is, is SAP. <sighs> I've even gone to, to I, I, I've I, gone to the German government just to even say, oh, can you help me out a little bit here? I'm in the back. Uh, they were, it wasn't even that they said, you don't speak German. Anything I spoke to them in English, they would reply in German and laugh. Even in Cologne, I did that. Huh. So on my travel, as yeah, I asked to speak to someone that, that, that actually comprehends. Yes, but that's why I'm so thinking about Michael and I'm so thinking about Kevin because they are actually genuinely trying to help. Yeah. Right? And they do speak German and they are German and they are really are trying to help. So that's why I'm clinging on to them so much. Because anytime I've tried to do anything on myself, it's not been a case of, sorry, we're not helping you. It's, oh, by the way, I'm going to slam the door in your face. Can you move out the way? Yeah. Being fucking brutal. A man like me, used to ask him, how can it happen to a man like me? Yeah. If they lock all the doors, I gotta unlock the they door. They could have made a call to every single one of them. They did. You know what? It, even, as soon even, as you mention SAP. No, even, the, even, the, even, the, even the church in Bonn wouldn't give me any food. Now you're not German, you're not getting the food. They were handing out bag upon bag upon bag. I'm like, can I at least get something to survive until I can get this? No. Alf. Wow. Yeah, and that's, wow. the, that's the church. Jesus Christ. Am I lost for words? That, that, shouldn't, that shouldn't even be possible. Just to give you an idea of diaconi, I stayed with a guy from diaconi on couch surfing. Guess what he did? Hmm. 
he stole a terabyte of my information. You know how I have two terabytes? He stole it or he busted it? He stole it. He oh. also has some of my clothes and locked the door. I went to the oh, head the priest. stealing guy. <clears throat> I haven't told you about this guy. Okay. He's a carpenter that works for Diakini. He builds things for them, right? Jesus. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. It gets worse. No, it gets worse. It gets he, worse. Has, worse. he has, he has a, a Muslim guy in a locked room over there plying him with drugs or something. I'm like, no, actually, tell a lie. He's Italian. He's blasted out of his mind. This guy is abusive, right? His name is Ulrich Hanserich. I know his name. I know where he lives. I went to the head priest in... Uh, in uh, Düsseldorf for diaconie and I said this is outrageous you are the German church this is a bonzer you know what he said oh are you that Canadian that's in trouble you know what he did threw 20 euros in my face and went get the fuck out the head priest yes I'm at a loss for words and I can even tell you the address of that guy I'm not going to but I know exactly where he lives it's bullshit it's a facade to make it look like there is social care here. All these taxes that are getting taken out of your wage, remember you said for social, it don't exist. If you have a big problem like SAP, you get shut down. That's why I've got to get to that Abbeid's correct and get the money back yeah. myself. That's why when I said Michael and Kevin, right? Because they are genuinely, as a human being, yeah. what I found is if you go to any of these voluntary organizations, they either laugh, they're not very good people, and this is over the world. Yeah. Right? Your genuine person like me, you, Kevin, or Michael will actually try and help something. These organizations that are set up to help, forget it. They want to go out, they want to smoke a cigarette, you got a problem, bye. And that's not just in Germany, I've, that's, I've seen it happen in other countries when it's not being me. It's bullshit. Oh. If it was financially viable for them to help your dad in some way, that's probably why they did it. They're a business as well. They're a business. That. Yeah. Didn't get a lot of benefit there. Sorry? I have to inquire about that. Uh, right. But what I'm saying is, I've been in this guy's house in Diakini. In his house. I know where he lives. His son lives in his house. The dude from Diakini stole my clothes. And my terabyte. I had three of those hard drives. He stole one. Yeah. It's been an absolute shocker. So you really do have to get. I've got to fix this quickly. That's yeah. why. That's why. It's, I either fix it. I need a little bit of help. You're a very nice guy, cool guy, right. Kevin, Michael. But it's only your. It's not the people. You know, like if you think you get in a bad situation, you go get help. That help in there. The only help is the people, the normal people who are in their daily working life are like, fuck, I gotta help somebody. Those are the people who help. Do you have family that uh, that you can ask for help? I told you I raised myself since I was ten. But you have like a family, like an uncle nobody, or something. Nobody. Nobody. No. I um, did everything myself. I mean, I don't know my German family at all. And I've been, I've, you know, I've been estranged from my mother. But on my dad, you know, I can always rely on him. I was just I a phone call. I did everything him. myself. That's, that's incredible, man. <laughs> this, this, if you actually look at it, all Caritas, AWO, they all have flashy new buildings. Why is one of the worst homeless situations in Europe, in Germany, why doesn't AWO, Caritas, or uh, Diakini go out and help them? Mm. If you go to the Cologne airport after 10 o'clock, there's hundreds of people homeless sleeping in that airport. Why doesn't Diakini and AWO go and get them and put them somewhere, do something, give them some food? They don't. You go to Dusseldorf, I came through Dusseldorf, there's German people sleeping in the bus shelters during the day. Where's the Acme AWO Caritas? Where are they? Nowhere to be found. I took a picture on my travels of this homeless dude in Duisburg, right? Yeah. And he was sat right in the center. And Duisburg is not a nice place. It's not. It's very disturbed in there. Right. It's disturbed. I took a picture of this guy on death's door. He was, you could clearly see he was not well. Ten feet behind him was this glossy, brand new AWO. Do you think someone walked ten meters to come and help that guy? Did they fuck? It's bullshit. He was ten meters away. That literally dying in front of AWO and they wouldn't even open the fucking door. I took a picture of it. 
Disgusting. Disgusting. It's just a business. It's a facade to make you think that if anything goes wrong, you have a safety net when you don't. Your safety net is your dad. I don't know your dad, but if you're a phone call, I've never had that. I, I came, I raised myself. I did it. I was taught at sales. I put myself through university at Leeds Metropolitan University. I got delivered $6 billion of IT projects in five years. I'm almost untouchable, right? Yeah. But I'm by myself. <clears throat> SAP. Would SAP do what they did if they knew I had a big support network? Probably not. But they knew I was isolated. So isolate him some more. And as gifted as he is, surely he will just go away. That's what they do. And the system that is there, which is Caritas, AWO, and all those organizations, close the door. It's not done by accident, it's done on purpose. So, SAP keeps the money, SAP doesn't have to pay me compensation, and AWO, Caritas, and Diakini will either say, you're not our problem, but for the guy in Diakini, I actually went to the police about him, I'm like, he stole my fucking stuff. But the head priest threw 20 euros in my face and said, he actually knew who I was. He's like, oh, you're that Canadian. It's garbage, man. Garbage. It's, it's actually not unlike America. The only difference is America doesn't pretend that there's a safety net, whereas Germany does, and it doesn't exist. That's the only difference. What do you it's, mean? There is, a, there is a bit of a safety net. Right? Okay, yeah, but what I'm safety? saying is yeah. Europe proclaims to be the... America is the big bad wolf, right? You either get eaten or you don't. In Europe, we're all kind of a safe... That's garbage! Yeah. It's, just, it's not there. It doesn't exist. Wow. Yes, that's that is the reality of that. it. Jesus. They both operate in the same way. It's just America is bigger, badder, stronger, more powerful, and richer. That is it. Do you mind? No, no, I left it for you on purpose. Okay. Do you understand though? I do understand. It's, it's a mirage. <clears throat> so you always got multiple uh, persons, that multiple people that you address. 